we see that particularly hindus are facing the challenge or we have to ensure their security beyond sj shankar other diplomats are they well capable are they trained enough to handle such a tricky situation we have to also see that we do not end up doing anything which escalates the tension in the region and at a global level that's another challenge whatever we do we have to be extremely careful How should India navigate geopolitical challenges in Bangladesh? Let's deep dive. So on August 8, Bangladesh is set to witness a significant political change with the Nobel Prize winner Muhammad Yunus taking the oath as the head of the interim government following ousting of Sheikh Hasina. This transition has occurred amidst a backdrop of widespread protests, violence and concerns over the safety of minorities, Hindus. India's role and response in the crisis is critical. given the historical and geographical ties that the two nation states share let's first start with the citizen end of the structure and we see that particularly hindus are facing the challenge on we have to ensure their security and within that segment we will also have to see that we provide refuge while at the same time we protect the sanctity of the borders as well let's move towards offerings right are there enough international laws and norms that can be put in place you'll also have to think of immediate aid and support are there enough resources are there enough supplies you'll also have to be transparent in terms of reporting is there clear transparency around what's happening on ground and if indeed india eventually decides to take refugees in the form of hindus are we doing enough talk also about it remember marketing we are talking about ethical marketing if you do without talking that's almost foolish let's talk of capability so we are saying because there is a domestic crisis that has happened in bangladesh their trade routes could potentially be impacted because of which our gdp might be impacted that's one within capability there could be challenges with the talent of ministry of external affairs beyond sj shankar other diplomats are they well capable are they trained enough to handle such a tricky situation not just for the ifs officers but also for the border security forces are they well trained do they have the correct guidelines do they know the correct protocol those could be the challenges too yes or no so when you think of talent there are foreign service officers there are border security forces as well and do we have enough financial aid for refugees that's capability section for you and then the last section is competition slash collaboration there could be so much that we can discuss at a challenge level and there could be cross border connectivity issues we also need to understand are there any collaboration issues with international organizations like un we have to also understand the overall stance that we need to have on regional bodies on neighboring countries maybe there could be potential illegal crossings and infiltrations as well that's another problem we have to also see that we do not end up doing anything which escalates the tension in the region and at a global level that's another challenge whatever we do we have to be extremely careful on that aspect so we have established citizens issue what are the open areas within product legality marketing monitoring we have talked about open ended questions around capability talent budget distribution and open ended ties or question marks around competition collaboration 80 percentage work done then you come below and you write solutions now that we know the problems we can easily write the solutions within citizens we have to have strict border controls to prevent illegal crossings and make sure at the same time we protect the minorities which may be in the interest of india as a nation we work with the interim government to ensure safety and protection of the minorities that will become your solution within citizen section within product we will actively proactively work with mohammad yunus and offer diplomatic solutions and foster a stability in the region we will also want to create a united front in addressing the crisis at hand that's within product within capability having adequate budget and resources making sure that your officers are well trained and there is enough budget invested in the development of the diplomatic and security officials and last but not the least within collaboration you will ensure that you strengthen the regional alliances you collaborate with international organization and you adopt a strategic and patient approach so that we do not end up doing something that can escalate the problem in the region to be just talking issues and then one by one we will have solutions no rocket science if you have this framework if you are reading news if you have completed the curriculum of misfits you will be able to write these 